So this video is going to be just a tad different. I'm getting ready to run and do some errands. But before I do that, I need to make me something to eat. So I'm just going to make a really quick chicken salad. And that's some of our home canned chicken that we keep on our shelves. Putting a little bit of Miracle Whip in here. Good. So the errands I need to do today is I need to run to the bank. That's one. And I just did the homework. So I spent the pretty much the whole morning on the internet checking the grocery stores in my area for some their weekly ads. How much different things are at different stores because you know we're not store loyal we are our pocket loyal so we need to check our prices well first we need to write our list then we check the prices online to see who has what at what price and where do we need to go. So I just made a really quick chicken salad. And I just heated up a can of home pinto beans. We can these ourselves. Just add a little bit of salt and pepper. That's what I'm having for lunch. Now we don't need anything. We don't, we're not running low on protein or on vegetables in the pantry or things in the freezer and stuff on the shelves. We don't need anything. We always check the grocery store for any kind of prices or sales on their weekly ads. To see who has what on sale. And then we'll see if we need any of those things. Let me eat my lunch and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we got lunch out of the way. Whew, I feel much better. So on the computer, I'll have all the tabs at the top of the computer with the stores in my area. Then I'll check the weekly ads. Then I'll check prices of this item or that item that are not on the weekly ads just to get an idea of what costs what where. Kroger has russet potatoes on sale for $1.99 for five pounds. We're definitely picking up some of those. And they have a spiral ham, 99 cents a pound. If I could find a small one, because it'll just be the husband and I, I'm going to go ahead and pick up one of those. So there's are two items we're going to be getting from Kroger. Food Lion has chicken breast for $1.99 a pound. Nope, that is not cheap. But it is on sale. We'll look at those. We might get some. We might not. Not really sure. Lidl's has pork tenderloin at $3.99 a pound. They're running a special on canned vegetables. Six cans for $3. That's 50 cents a can. My husband and I are not big on canned vegetables. We'd rather have fresh or frozen. But at that price, I might not be able to pass it up. So we're going to go by Lidl's and check that out. They have cream cheese, their brand, eight ounce bricks of cream cheese for 99 cents. And they have a sort of chocolate chips, two for three dollars. So we're going to check Lidl's out for those items. So I also priced the organic ground beef from all the stores. 
we're really enjoying the organic grass-fed grass-finished ground beef that we're getting from a local farmer but I'm just comparing that to the grocery store I might get some more I might not I'm undecided Kroger has one pound eight ninety nine or they have a three or one pound pack for twenty ninety nine we're gonna look at that while we're at Kroger Food Lion has their brand of organic beef for $7.99 a pound. Lidl's has their brand of organic beef for $7.29 a pound. Walmart had an organic beef $6.28 a pound or a three one pound package for $17.48. If we go to Walmart, we'll look at that. If we don't go to Walmart, that's okay because there's nothing else I'm getting from Walmart anyway I do need to stop by the liquor store and pick up a bottle of liquor so I can get another batch of vanilla going and the other things I need to look at is bleach have you priced bleach lately it's insane but I need bleach french fries and you're not gonna believe this family. I went into the pantry. I have no pasta sauce, none. I don't remember going through that much pasta sauce. I have zero. And I didn't order the tomatoes from Azure. So I'm just gonna go check their canned tomato products at each one of these stores, just in case. We do have tomatoes. We have the diced tomatoes. We have the tomato sauce. We have the tomato paste. We have what's on our shelf, plus we have a backup case of each one of those. We're okay, but if we're gonna be making pasta sauce every time we need to make a batch of pizza or something that we need pasta sauce for, we're not gonna have enough. So I'm just gonna check those prices out just in case. And of course I got the chicken breast and the ham and the potatoes on here. So I'm getting ready to run out, do my errands, and I'll be back hmm, probably in a couple hours. And then by then, it'll be time to cook dinner. And then I'll share the grocery haul with y'all. Did we need anything? No. Did we get anything? Yes. We went to Kroger, Lidl's, we have an Amazon box right there, plus Azure Standard. Hello family, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I am Vicki, and you're with Grammy in the Kitchen. So yes, we bought stuff. Only because it was a good deal, and why not? My total spend on everything was at Kroger, we spent $25.52. Lidl's, we spent $66.43. Amazon, I spent $108 and some change. I can't remember. But one item did get returned. Package was damaged, was returned to sender. So we're going to get a credit back of $2.47. And as your standard, we spent $350.72. Let me go ahead and break this down for you. So before we left the house, we did our homework to find out who had what on sale and how much it was going to save us. So we ended up getting a spiral cut ham. It's the Kroger brand spiral sliced brown sugar ham. And it was 99 cents a pound. Regular price was $3.49 a pound at $28.44, we paid $8.07. Not a big ham person, but the husband loves ham, so that's why I got it. Planning on cutting this in half, having half of it on one meal, you know, with built-in leftovers, of course, and then the other half will do the same in a future date. Now, doing my homework, I found out that Lidl's had pork tenderloin for $3.99 a pound. But while I was at Kroger, I went ahead and checked their prices. And they actually had a pork 
tenderloin roast. Now we've talked about this. What's the difference between a tenderloin and a tenderloin roast? This has more meat on it. It has the tenderloin itself plus a little bit of rib meat in it also. There's a lot of fat. There's a lot of juices. We will lose some when we trim some of this fat off, but that's okay. We can still use this as a roast. We did a recipe last summer where we did a crock pot Mexican pulled pork sandwiches. That's exactly what I'm planning on doing with this also. I might cut it in half and have half for one meal and half for another meal. But this at Kroger was $2.99 a pound. Pork loin half. It's not a tenderloin, it's a loin roast. Was $13.22. Like I said, that's two meals. $8 for the ham, two meals. $13 for the roast, two meals. So that's not bad when you're considering that's built-in leftovers. I'm going to put these back in the refrigerator really quick. And Kroger also had russet potatoes, five pounds, a dollar and 99 cents. Family, that's the cheapest I have seen it anywhere in a long time. So we ended up with two bags. For a dollar 99 a pound, not bad at all. So between the ham, the loin roast, and the two potatoes, we spent $25.52 at Kroger. I did not get the three pack organic hamburger from Kroger because they didn't have any left at that $20.99. And their one pound package was more than it would have been at Lidl's. So we didn't get the hamburger from Kroger. Now the next stop we went to was Lidl's. I was looking at the pork tenderloin, but since we already got that from Kroger, we erased it. We were looking at the canned vegetables they had on sale, cream cheese they had on sale, and chocolate chips. Yes, we got all of that. So we picked up six bags of chocolate chips. And they were two bags for $3. We have a dark chocolate morsels, milk chocolate morsels, and semi-sweet chocolate morsels. We ended up with two bags of each of those. And they're varying in weight. The dark chocolate is 10 ounces. The milk chocolate is 11 and a half ounces, and the semi-sweet chocolate is 12 ounces. But two bags for $3 is not bad. That's $1.50 a bag. So that should keep us well stocked in chocolate chips for a little while. They had their brand of cream cheese on sale for 99 cents. The regular $1.48. That saved us 49 cents per brick. We went ahead and bought 10 bricks. These freeze wonderful, fall beautiful, and you can cook with them with no problem. So we got 10 of those. Big savings, regular price was $1.48. The other thing we got was their canned vegetables. They had corn and green beans, six for $3. So that's basically 50 cents a can. So this case was $6 of corn and a case of green beans. So $6 for the case of green beans. Like I said before, earlier, we are not big on canned vegetables. But at that price, I could not pass it up. We can use this as a side dish. We can use this as an ingredient in something else like a chicken pot pie or a soup, Have whatever we want to do with it. But at that price, I couldn't pass it up. 
And not only that, when I know somebody that's in need of something, some food or some ingredients, I won't mind helping someone out when I know I got it at a really good, reasonable price. So I'm happy with that. We went ahead and bought three pounds of the organic ground beef. This is an 85.15, 7.29 a piece. Yes, that is 29 cents more than what I could get from my local farmer, but I was already there. I went ahead and picked up three of these. We'll just add this to our freezer and we have three meals right here. I picked up two bags of french fries. We prefer the crinkle cut french fries and they are 32 ounces a piece. And they were $4.19 for each bag. So we have two of those in the freezer. So that is everything at Lidl's and we spent $66.43. Let me put all this stuff away and then we'll talk about that Amazon box. So did I get everything on my list? Yes and no. I had on my list to look at bleach but I forgot to look at bleach. When I was at Lidl's, my intention was to look at their bleach, see how much it is, and get a couple. They're not even a gallon anymore. I think they're a half gallon or three quarters of a gallon, three liters or something like that. And I forgot. So the next time I go to Lidl's, I need to remember to look at bleach. And the other things we didn't look at was chicken breast. Chicken breast, the boneless, skinless chicken breast, was on sale at Food Lion. Since the only thing we needed to look at at Food Lion was the chicken breast and we really don't need it, I decided just to skip that altogether. And then I looked at the price of the tomato products, both at Kroger and Lidl's, and I think I can still do better getting it from Azure Standard. We are still out of pasta sauce, but that's okay. I have the tomato products that I can make the pasta sauce or the pizza sauce when it's time to make more pizzas. So we didn't get those either. So we're okay. I'm not worried about chicken breast. We always have chicken in our freezer. We're okay there. Let's move on to the Amazon order. Now everything in here I did not need, but I do not want to get it when I am out. So I'd rather get it when I don't need it. That way it's here when I do. Does that make any sense to you? When I run out of something, that's not when I need to order it. I need to order it before I run out so I'm not out. Okay, Amazon. So I got another box of the vacuum seal bags. This is the long tubes. You cut it to size. I got an extra one of these. I got another roll of our favorite parchment paper. I got another box of 250 one gallon size Ziploc bags. and solar eclipse glasses. Went ahead and picked that up. We do have some here from 2017 solar eclipse. Wasn't looking for them, so I bought some. Then I went ahead and bought another bottle of the Rennet, so we can have a backup bottle of Rennet for when we make mozzarella and then ricotta cheese. This has to stay in the refrigerator. And that is everything from Amazon. And now the Azure order. We are back home from picking up our Azure. Let's see what's in the, these three boxes and what we didn't get. So do we want to open the orange, the white one, or the small brown one? Let's open the small brown one. Are you ready, family? 
I'm ready. Opening these boxes from Azure Standard because they are repurposed boxes and a bunch of little smalls are in these boxes. I didn't get a case of any one item. So they repackage a bunch of smalls into boxes. So opening these boxes is like Christmas morning. And we get Christmas morning every month. Although I know what I ordered, I don't know what's in the box. In each of the boxes. Let's find out together. Oh. Ready? So I have one pound of dill weed cut and sifted. Yes, a pound is a lot. But I'm also sharing this with Amanda. This was $23.65. I got a pound of cornstarch. I don't know why, but I thought this bag was going to be bigger. I guess because I'm taking into consideration how much dry herbs are. So I probably need to add another bag, but a bigger quantity on my next order. I'll let you know. But the one pound bag of cornstarch was $10.18. But it's an organic cornstarch. I have a five pound bag of organic polenta. This five pound bag of polenta was $12.09. Now polenta we use as polenta when we want to make polenta plus we use it for cornbread or any kind of cornmeal dishes and we also line our cast iron skillet with polenta when we're making pizzas and plus the griddle when we're making English muffins. So this is a multi-purpose item and it's only $12.09 for five pounds. A one pound bag of bacon soda and this was only three dollars and eleven cents we didn't have to get bacon powder because the husband bought some from the grocery store a couple weeks ago but I do want to get some bacon powder from Azure in the future so that's it for this box orange or white Let's do the white one. Now if you go to an Azure drop and you see a box that has arrows on all four sides showing you that this is the top. Just make sure that when you're taking it off of the truck and put it in the person's pile of their Azure order, that you're following this configuration because whatever's in here needs to stay in this configuration just to keep it from being damaged or if it's liquid being spilled. I'm pretty sure I know what's in this box and I'll explain to you why. But just keep an eye on arrows and the word top. We're going to keep it just like this as we open it. I have a one pound bag of oregano leaves cut and sifted. And yes, that's a big bag. Like I say, I share with my kids when they need some herbs and spices. And this was only $9.93.
and just what I thought. This is the box with the arrows and with the word top on top. And that's because I have two one gallon jugs in here. We want to make sure that they're not getting damaged by having them on the side or upside down. So follow the configurations of the marker that they put on the boxes. So we have a gallon of organic avocado oil and this was $56.51. And we have a gallon organic olive oil, extra virgin. And it has solidified because it comes in a cold truck, not in the freezer section, but the truck is refrigerated. So it is solidified because it's cold. And we also left it in the truck overnight because it was raining really bad yesterday. So we left everything in the truck because I didn't have nothing that was perishable. Well, I do have some perishables, but nothing that needed to be refrigerated. And it didn't get below 45 last night, so it was okay. So once this warms up and becomes room temperature, it will go back to its liquid form. And the olive oil was $83.93. Oils have doubled and tripled in price. I have been doing Azure for three years. Wow, it's been three years. And I think my very first gallon of oil I got from them without having to go back and look at my history might have been about 40 some dollars maybe close to 50. it is now 83 dollars but this is a good quality oil from a company that i trust so i'm willing to pay the extra get the quantity and quality that we need in our kitchen and if you read the ingredients it says organic extra version olive oil Nothing else. It is not cut with different oils from other plant items. 100% olive oil. Now for two months, we have not gotten a flyer. We got one. Yes, I can check the internet and look at their sales flyers. I am old fashioned and I like the paper version. So happy. Thank you, Azure, for the sales ad. Another box empty. And now the last box. I'm so excited. Five pounds of organic garlic. And you're probably asking, but Grammy, why does it have to be organic? I've said this in my videos before and I'll say it again. If you buy garlic from the grocery store and if it does not have a root in and if that root in doesn't have dirt and bits in it, it's not grown in the United States. It is grown elsewhere. Chances are it's grown in China. You can import and export produce. You cannot import or export dirt. It's a rule, you have to follow it. So they have to make sure that the root in of all ground grown vegetables is clean because they can't bring this dirt into America. 
So if you find a bulb of garlic that still has dirt on it, it's grown in the United States. And if you buy garlic that is not organic, you have no control over what they're using for pesticides, where it's grown, the conditions of the workers and the soil and the things they're doing to grow that produce. But if you buy organic, then you know if it is treated with a pesticide, it's treated in an organic way. The dirt is organic. There's nothing that is man-made, artificial, used in the process of growing a produce. You gotta know where your food is coming from and what they're doing to your food to get it on your plate. I trust Azure. I cannot say that enough. I trust Azure and I trust dirt. So five pounds of garlic. And this was $35.75. I know Amanda, if you're watching this video, I'm bringing you some when we come visit. And the next thing we got was three one pound bags. Yes, I said three of organic garlic powder. And you're probably saying, why do you need three one pounds? One of these is going to Amanda's. And I wanted it back up anyway, so I was going to buy two. The reason I got the third one is the more you buy in quantity from Azure, the cheaper the unit price will be. One bag was going to be $12.65. Three bags was $37.49. It's only a savings of 50 cents, but a savings is a savings. I knew I was going to buy two anyway. One's Amanda's, one's mine. Might as well get the third one if I can save 50 cents. We have a pound of Italian seasoning mix. And this was $8.89. We have a pound of Italian dressing mix. If you need to, pause the video so you can read those ingredients. But that's the ingredients in the Italian dressing mix. That was $9.83. And that's the ingredients in the Italian seasoning mix. It says garlic, onion, and spices. It doesn't really tell you what the spices are. Go to the website, click on Italian seasoning mix, and it does have the listing there. Ten pound bag of onions. This is an organic yellow onion, and for ten pounds, it's only seventeen dollars and twenty-five cents. We like onions and we like garlic. I feel like I am missing something. All right, let me print this. Hold on one second, family. Okay, I'm back. Had to do a little bit of investigation. So I, this is the rubbed sage. I ordered three one pound bag because one was going to Amanda's and it's cheaper, like I said, to buy in quantities. So I figured three would be better than buying two one pound. 
but they only sent me two, but they only charged me for two. So let me break this down for you. So one was $9.66. Three was $26.57. So that is a savings of 81 cents per bag. So that's 81 cents times three. So it's basically getting a third of a pound free by buying them in quantities. But they only sent me two and they only charged me two. But they charged me the two according to the buy three price and not buy the buy one price. Oh my goodness, does that make any sense to you? In the description below, I will break it down to what I ordered and what they sent me and how they charged me. If that makes any sense to you. There was two items on my list that I did not get. And yes, it's a little discouraging that I didn't get these two items because these are two items I really, really needed. But that's okay. That is what we do. We order once a month. We get a delivery once a month. We go to the drop once a month. We pick up our things once a month. Bring it home. Do the haul. Definitely will be adding these two items on the next order. But one was our coconut oil. We only use three different oils in this house. Olive oil and avocado oil and coconut oil. We are completely out of coconut oil, but we'll get that on the next order. And the other thing was black peppercorn. I had a backup one pound bag of peppercorns that the last time we went to North Carolina to visit the kids, Amanda says, mom, I need some peppercorn. I took her my last one pound bag thinking I could get another one. Well, I didn't get it. So that was definitely going to go in our order next time. I'm not completely out. You know, we have the three phases of our spices. What's in the kitchen, what's on the shelf in mason jars, and a backup in, in a rubber bin, a plastic bin. Um, I gave her my plastic bin one. And my mason jar is empty. But it's okay. I have a pepper grinder on the stove. I never used a grinder, but it has peppercorns in it. I have one of our spice jars over there with some peppercorns. I have... I have that much pepper in my jar. So we're not out, out. We're just running really low and we don't have a backup or a backup to the backup. This is all we have. Definitely need to get those. So those two items will go on to the next order. Now to put everything away and figure out what I'm taking to Amanda. Get that in jars because I know she's getting a sage. She's going to get some oregano. She wanted some dill. And there's a and she's getting a one of these, these garlic powder. Oh, and the other thing I ordered, oh, just realized that. Where is it at? Um okay. Oh. And the other thing we ordered was onion powder. We don't have onion powder in our third stage backup. We have it in the kitchen, we have it on the pantry shelf in a mason jar. I just don't have any in my buckets. They didn't have any. But if you saw a video, if I can find the video, I'll put a link right there where I was talking about they had onion flakes, dried onion flakes on sale and I bought three one pounds of those. Still have some in the kitchen, on the shelf and in the bucket. Someone suggested I could put that through the food processor and make my own onion powder. I'm probably going to do that because I have it. It's here. 
I don't use it in the form that it's in. If I can change it into something that we can use, we're definitely going to do that. So everything we did get, because like I said, we don't have the onion powder, we don't have the peppercorn, we don't have the coconut oil, and we don't have a bag of sage. But what we do have and what we were charged was $326.32. I do have to pay shipping. I'm on the East Coast. They're on the West Coast. And my shipping at 8.5% of weight. What my stuff weighs was $27.74. So the invoice total was $354.06. I did have Azure cash from last month's order. Wasn't a big order. So the Azure cash wasn't a big amount. But that was $3.34. So my total was $350.72. So we're taking a pound of rubbed sage to Amanda's. A pound of garlic powder to Amanda. Some garlic. Maybe a few onions. We're going to give her some sage. We're going to give her some dill. Plus other spices that I have in the pantry that I have plenty of. Parsley, basil, and whatever else she needs. And we still need to make that taco seasoning. Well, now the fun part. Put all this stuff away. And we need to take care of the meat that we got on sale from the ham and the loin roast we got from Kroger. We need to process that too. So this is the pork tenderloin roast we got on sale, $2.99 a pound. But I want to go ahead and get it prepared and seasoned and in vacuum seal bags so we can put it in the freezer. So on the back it has a very large fat cap. I do want to remove as much of that as possible. I'm going to go down to about a quarter of an inch. Let me sharpen this knife. All right, let's try this again. Just be careful with your fingers. This is not a necessary step. We're just doing it so we don't have a lot of fat in our finished product. All right, that looks good. Now you could take this piece of meat and then cut them up into pork chops. That way you'll have some boneless pork chops. You can leave it as a roast. It's just the husband and I, so we're going to make two. So I'm going to cut it in half. doesn't matter if it's perfect. I went ahead and made my seasoned blend. So in here I have two tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper. We're going to mix that really, really well and we're going to season our pork. Let me wash my hands really quick. So I have a vacuum sealed bag. I'm 
I do not want to waste this dry rub. And now these are ready to go into the freezer. This roast is actually a crock pot meal. So when we're ready to cook these separately, we'll add a half a cup of broth. We're just gonna use either a chicken, turkey, or the combination of the two. So we need a half a cup of broth. We need to add a couple pats of butter and we'll cook it on low for two hours or high for one hour and the temperature needs to reach 160 degrees. Now if we're cooking this from frozen it will take a little longer so we'll double that time if we're cooking it from frozen. If we're cooking it from fall where we would take it out of the freezer stick it in the refrigerator and then cook it once it's thawed it would take the one hour or two hours but we're probably going to just cook these straight from the freezer this freezer meals in a crock pot is perfect. So that's two meals. Now this was $2.99 a pound and it was a little bit over four pounds, almost four and a half pounds total for $13.22. So we have two meals with built-in leftovers for $13. Not bad family. This way we have inexpensive protein that we caught on sale in our freezer ready for a future meal. Now we need to tackle that ham. Now this ham we got from Kroger. They had a sale for 99 cents a pound. Regular price was $3.49. This is a 8.15 pound ham. It's a spiral cut. We only paid $8.07 for this. But this is way more than the husband and I need in one meal. So I do want to just come in here and separate it. Just going through the spirals because there's a bone in here and it won't cut, it won't, it's not sliced through the bone. Any of the little pieces that fall off, I'm gonna stick in this bowl because that would be great for soups. And then save the big pieces for meals. Just go through here and separate it the best we can. And this ham bone we're gonna save to make ham stock. We cook beans with it. Oh, we could do so many things. Let me wash my hands so we can play with the vacuum seal bags. What did we end up with? We ended up with four packages of portioned sliced ham to have with meals. Plus, we got the bone. We can either make a ham stock or we can use this to cook some beans. And we got a bag of ham pieces that we could turn into like a split pea soup. We could make a ham salad sandwich. The possibilities with this right here is endless. So we have four meals with built-in leftovers of ham steak. And we have one meal built-in leftovers of ham pieces for a future meal. So I don't think we did bad. We've got five meals with built-in leftovers plus a ham bone. If you find any value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, please subscribe. I would love to have you part of the Grammy family. And if you don't mind, use my Azure link Go check out Azure. If you spend $100 or more within, I think it's 90 days of signing up, I am blessed with a $25 credit. That would help tremendous for my family, for myself. I would appreciate if you use my link. But I could tell you, I am nobody special. Everybody gets their own 
referral link. So once you become a customer of Azure, you'll get your own. And anybody that you refer that uses your link, you are also blessed with a $25 credit. I think of it as Azure and our community paying it forward. When I signed up, but the $25 credit went to someone else. And now I have my own link and I could be blessed with $25. Now you're going to have your own personal link and you could be blessed with $25. Let's just pay it forward. Help refer people to Azure. It's a wonderful company. They scrutinize everything they get if it's outsourced and if that company that they used to buy from because they used to have this candy it's called um, rainbows chocolate or something it's a it's an M&M basically without the M&M artificial brands they no longer carry that because <laughs> the husband asked me hey can you order some more and when I went to the website to try to order it, they no longer carried it because the company changed some of the ingredients in those candies. And they do not follow Azure standards of high quality ingredients in food. So they no longer sell it. So I trust Azure to look after my family, even though I'm doing my diligence to do what I can. But if I have to outsource oils and spices and herbs and onions and garlic, I wanna outsource it to a company that takes my values to heart and gives and offers and offers the best quality at a reasonable price. We have to take control of what we're buying to prepare meals for our family and know the ingredients that are in them. And I trust Azure to do those things for me. Although I do check, but I trust them and I hope you do too. My very good friend, such a sweetheart. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Patty. We had a conversation on the phone a couple months ago, and we were talking about this particular spice. And she goes, oh, I have a gift for you. She remembered. We have saffron. If you don't know what saffron is, it's an herb that is used in a lot of Spanish cooking and I don't mean Mexican Spanish cooking I'm talking about Spain Spanish cooking a lot of Middle Eastern cooking also it is known as the most expensive herb on earth look it up saffron I'll put it the writing right there and go check them out and she also gave me a dozen of homegrown eggs such a sweetheart I love her she's the one that gives me the the antique jars love these jars and I love Patty but I want to open this I want to see and smell this saffron I have never had saffron I have never cooked with saffron only because it's very expensive but this was given to us so we get to experiment. If I can get this package open. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Can you see? Can you see that? It's gorgeous. And it's an organic saffron. 
we have to find a delicious recipe that is worthy of our time and our ingredients of this saffron. Now we get to put all this stuff away. So until next time, y'all have a blessed day. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, family. All right, I need all of y'all to get up and go to the pantry. Okay, guess I'll do it myself.